A lot of people might not agree with me, but Mike Conley is worth every penny of his contract. Compared to some of the great point guards of the past, such as John Stockton, Jason Kidd, Steve Nash, who thought to pass the ball first, get teammates involved instead of scoring, as you see in traditional games now. If Mike Conley stays healthy for all 82 games, he will lead the Grizzlies back to the Western Conference and prove that he's worth the big contract. If there is such a thing as an NBA game of the century in the regular season, this was it. Spurs and Warriors with Cedric Henderson. I'm Bram Weinstein. Let's take a look at the highlights. And there's the two coaches. A lot of laps here early. Wouldn't be late. Yeah, two friends, great friends, student against a teacher here. There's Kawhi Leonard ready to go, star of the Spurs, and Steph Curry's got that move going. Man, like he's ready to come out and just tear up the floor. You want to see his better moves? Here he is. Watch him move on Tony Parker here. Oh, man, amazing. Open court guy. Just can finish with both hands. It's just amazing. Golden State is underrated for their defense. They clog up the lanes, and this got them out in transition, and they know how to finish. Yeah, with the best of them. Dog, who's a veteran who knows how to finish at the rim with the best. And then a broken play. Forget about it when you give them space. Man, Steph for three. Gotta love it. Oracle is going crazy in there. You know, one of the biggest surprise contributors here, Sean Livingston. How about that move? Warriors have a great bench. They have great veteran guys who knows how to play the game. And now here's Curry back to their start. How about that? Back to the left and with the right-handed floater. One of the greatest skilled players out there in the game. That's why he's so tough to guard. He can go off the dribble. He can shoot the floater. He can shoot the long ball. I don't know what you can do with this. Golden State having beaten Cleveland, Chicago, and San Antonio, all of them by at least 30 points over the last eight days. They are trying to make a statement and say, hey, we are the reigning champs. We're trying to say, separate ourselves from the norm. We're out here to prove a point, and we're not fake. If you're everybody else and you're looking at this and they're on this record setting pace, when you see that happen, hey, how do you find a way to, to think you're going to be able to compete with them? Reminds you of the Bulls back in the day when they went 72 and 10. Those guys were focused every night. They were out there ready to compete, and they were on a mission. If San Antonio is going to get a different result from them when the games really matter down in the summer, what do they have to do differently defensively to try to slow down Curry in that offense? They definitely have to do a better job of guarding the guards. They have to pick up their guard play. I don't know if Tony Parker still have the speed to keep up with Steph Curry or Clay Thomas, and they definitely have to bring in something and slow the tempo down. Uh, Tim Duncan wasn't in this game. Maybe he comes back and be, be a better shot blocker and control the paint for him. And hopefully that'll help him out the next time they come around. Some of the moves are obvious. Like Brad Underwood had a great run at Stephen F. Austin. People have heard about them yes. in March the last couple of years because they got through and they won a game in the tournament. So they became a Cinderella. So he gets a big time opportunity. Of course, he's going to take it Oklahoma State. What is the leap for him to go from that program to a big time program? It's gonna be it's gonna be a difficult leap now. It's not gonna be as easy as people think it's gonna be. He's gonna have to bring in some talent um, and compete against amongst the bigger guys. You know, sometimes in these small schools, you you can bring in a kind of veteran guy. What they do, you know, they'll bring a guy from D2 or junior college who's been playing for a while to those small schools because he still wants to play. But going into these bigger schools, you get a lot of you gotta get the big time recruits. You gotta be able to compete against these big time programs. So I think it's going to be a great challenge for him. And I think he's going to do a wonderful job because he is a great coach, X no guy. Is it hard, though, to sell that recruit on, okay, I know I'm from Stephen F. Austin, but you got to believe me, I'm going to win here too, when there's Bill South down the road who's saying, why in the world would you go play there when you can play here with me? It probably is going to take a couple times. It's going to take them some years. I believe most coaches who get in these new jobs, it takes at least two or three years to build the program to start convincing these young guys to, hey, I can win here. And he's going to have to do it kind of off some just the guys he has there and some recruits that he probably won't think that's going to help him, but help build him up that year.